The Stevedore is Not, A Mural Gazer's Tale by Craig Spence. Harry liked to watch the big ships tied up at the Western Forest Products dock loading lumber. If one of them was in the harbour, he'd sometimes switch destinations for his morning coffee run to the 49th Parallel General Store. Ah, they would greet him, your ships come in. If it was sunny and warm, he would order coffee to go, then carry on to the parking lot behind the 49th, where he'd watch the cranes hoist lumber off the wharf and lower it into the ship's hold. If it was blustery or raining, he'd first watch for a while under the shelter of his scooter's canopy, then head for the coffee shop. He never tired watching the ship's load, their cranes working like gigantic insects. And when he wasn't transfixed by that, Harry would look up at the bridge, wondering what the captain and crew must have seen over the bow, ploughing through the vast Pacific en route to Chimenez from their last port of call. As a bonus, he enjoyed watching the Thetis and Penelicut Islands ferry gliding into its slip at the foot of Oak Street, the passengers trudging and driving off, heading who knows where. If I hadn't been a logging truck driver, I would have been a sea captain, Harry thought. So it made sense the next mural he chose to look at was number two, the 33-meter collage. The first panel of that colossal work depicts an early 20th century sailing ship being loaded back in 1901. The stevedores were posed for the photographer, sitting or leaning against the waiting stacks of lumber at the bow of the ship. They looked a surly lot, Harry recollected, pointing his scooter up Oak Street, hanging a left on Willow. Parking himself next to a brick planter at Willow and Legion, Harry scanned the length of the mural. The stevedore panel was nearest to him, the men looking grim and defiant as ever. Beyond, a boom man danced on a rolling log in what was then the Victoria Lumber and Manufacturing Company sort. Not the kind of jig I'd like to be doing, Harry thought. And beyond that, VL and M's Engine 21 dumped another load of logs into the water. If I wasn't a log truck driver or a sea captain, I wouldn't mind running one of them locomotives up Copper Canyon and back. Harry stared at the mural. He looked into the intense, angry eyes of the wharfie at the bottom right corner of the scene. The man's eyes were hooded under what might have been a Yankee soldier's cap, staring back at Harry. Suddenly, as if he'd been zapped by some kind of infernal ray, Harry felt himself float free into the space between him and the mural, like Captain Kirk getting beamed from the starship Enterprise onto the surface of a foreign planet.